So what happens when you get your laser scan and it's not exactly where you need it to be? Well, I want to show you how to change that in AutoCAD and in ReCap. So welcome back to the channel. Uh, this video, we're going to be looking at laser scanning and moving it into a coordinate system uh, using AutoCAD and also using ReCap. Before we get started, this is a big pet peeve of mine. Uh, part of laser scanning in my mind is making sure that everything is on dimensional control. Uh, the scan is exactly where it needs to be. Um, most sites have a coordinate system already set up. And so if you can tie that into the coordinate system, then all the models will be, the models and the scans will be in the correct location. And you don't have to move things around. So I'm pretty sure that we've all been to a site when we've seen these black and white checker targets. And what these are, these are scan targets. And the registration software uh, can pick these up and knows that they are targets. Now, they don't have any intelligence with them. The, the software doesn't know where they need to go or anything like that. It just knows that there's a target right there. And so what you do is you come out with a total station and you shoot the, each one of these targets right in the dead center of them. And you tie that into the coordinate system for the plant or the facility, or even just some arbitrary temporary benchmark. When you register the scan, you come in and you tag this one, let's say 9621. And with the scan, tar uh, the total station coordinate system, there should be a target for 9621 with a specific coordinate for that uh, center of that checker target. There should also be one for 9620 and so on and so forth. What this does is this allows the scan to align your X, Y, and Z into a particular coordinate. And then that will allow you to, um, you know, bring that into AutoCAD or Navisworks and allow you to, you know, always have that on coordinate. So that's my little soapbox. Uh, I think everyone should be using total station and tying in your targets, tying in your scans into the coordinate system. Uh, it just makes a lot of things easier. Uh, but we don't live in a perfect world. Sometimes you just get a scan and you got to deal with it. So let's get into how we're going to move the scan around. Now, in this first example, this is not the ideal way to do it. Uh, the ideal way was to bring it into recap or into your registration software and move it to a specific location. But in a pinch, if you don't have those softwares available, this will work. So what I would do is first create a new model for just the scan. So you would do a scan model uh, whatever your project, however your naming convention is. And then you would move that scan to wherever you needed to go. Now, I would really try to, you know, do typing in uh, the exact coordinates or the exact locations that you need it instead of just arbitrarily moving it around. But, you know, if you need to, you can. So, uh, so basically what you would do is just go to, go to move command, uh, click on the scan, and let's say we wanted to move this, you know, 350 feet, you know, to the south. Just type in 350. And we're going to move this down to, let's say, 400 feet. Okay. And then you got to move your elevation. Uh, your elevation, you know, most of the time is about five feet. Um, you know, when you start your scanning five, six feet, depending on how high the scanner was set up. Uh, so you'll have to move that in that direction. Now, once you do that and you save it, then you can go ahead and, you know, close that out and allow your designers to use that scan file 
and it will be in the right location that you need it to be. Now, the best way to move your scan would be using dimensional control, but if you don't have that and you have Recap Pro, then you can at least go in and move the scan to your coordinates that you need. So this is kind of an easy process. So basically what you would do is you open your scan and you can see that our coordinate, our original uh, location is right here um, to the southwest. And so we want it to be more to the northeast. And so what we're going to do is, and it would always be good to kind of, you know, take some measurements, make sure, you know, your coordinates are exactly where you need to. Uh, if you just hover over anything down in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see the coordinates. So you can see that right there, we're at 125, 27 foot and 105. Um, so we're going to move this around. So basically what you do is make sure that you're in the scan view and you want to go into, uh, your display settings, come over here to the point cloud or the points, and we're going to say update origin. Okay. So we're going to update the origin. Okay. And you can, you know, if you have a temporary benchmark that you want to move it to, you can, um, you know, you can pick a point right here, but if you already know the dimensions or the coordinates that you're going to move them to, you can go ahead and do this. Uh, so what we're going to do is first, we're going to check our coordinates, our units. So we are in feet and inches. Okay. And we're going to go to update origin. Now this is saying doing in inches. So uh, you'll have to do this in inches. So we're going to still move it. 350 feet one way, uh, 400 feet another way, and we're going to move it 79 feet because our elevation is off. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, type this in. So we're going to say 4,800. That's 400 feet. Okay, so we want to move... We want to do that 350 feet. So that's 4,200, 4,200, 4,800. And we're going to do 79. Uh, let's see. No, 300 inches. Okay. So that's 25 feet. And so we're saying this is our new origin location. So we're going to hit OK. So we're going to zoom out and you can see that now our origin location is to the north, uh, northeast instead of to the southwest. So once you have this in location, then you just hit your save button. OK. And when you come back into AutoCAD, what you'll have to do is you will have to, um, you know, detach the scan and then reattach the new scan uh, because it does not update. I've found that out. So we're going to click on right here. We're going to hit open. We're going to hit OK. Move that over and you can now see that our scan is in the correct location where we want it. By making this change inside a recap or inside your registration software, this allows your designers just to open up the file inside of AutoCAD and start using the scan features uh, with inside the program and not having to do any kind of moving, worrying about if it's in the right location. If you do that when you're doing your registration, then it will allow your designers to work faster and more efficiently. I know I threw a lot of information at you today and we kind of just, you know, hit the tip of the iceberg when it comes to laser scanning and registration and coordinates. And, you know, we threw a lot of terms out there, um, but at least this will help you get your scans in a location where you can use them without having to move them with inside of AutoCAD. Because if you ever just detach that scan, 
then you'll have to do it again. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And if there's anything you would like us to cover, please let us know in the comments. Been trying to get those uh, out for you guys as you've requested them. Uh, I've got some really good videos coming up here soon. Um, so until next time.